The Samsung Galaxy S8 will be released April 21st and has received huge praise for its infinity display and not yet catching fire. I want to talk about 8 features which haven't been talked about quite as much though and you may not have known. The S8 has face recognition, but in early tests there have been reports of the software being out-tricked simply by holding a photo in front of the camera. Samsung could solve this problem though before the phone reaches the market. Speaking of the front camera, it has been improved from 5 megapixels on the S7 to 8 megapixels with Quad HD video. The same advancements however cannot be said of the rear camera, which on paper remains the exact same 12 megapixels with 4K video that you find on the S7. They have swapped out the sensor though for Sony's IMX333, the same sensor used in Sony's upcoming XZ Premium smartphone. However, instead of 960 frames per second super slow motion, the S8 just has some slightly better camera software. Maybe Samsung didn't bother with the camera because they knew it would be constantly smudged up by people trying to find the awkwardly placed fingerprint reader. They originally wanted the fingerprint reader on the front with the new haptic feedback home button, but in order to get the device out in time they had to make a compromise. At least we know where the fingerprint reader will be on the Galaxy S9 or maybe even the Note 8. The battery is like the rear camera. On paper, it's the same 3000 milliamp lithium ion battery found on the S7. They have made it better though, but you'll only notice how after a few months, as the battery's life has been improved. The S8 is also the first smartphone with Bluetooth 5. You can find out all about the benefits of Bluetooth 5 though in a previous video I've posted. Contrary to many rumors, the S8 does not have stereo speakers. It does however come with a pair of AKG headphones and a 3.5mm jack where you can plug them in. Samsung bought Harman last year who in turn own AKG and others, so there is still hope that stereo might reach your S-series smartphone, maybe even as soon as 2018. Samsung have also tried their hand at turning your smartphone into a desktop PC with their DeX dock. This is basically a bowl with a USB-C connector to connect your Samsung S8. It has an HDMI port to connect a monitor, two USB 2 ports to connect a mouse, keyboard and whatever else. It even has a fan to make sure your device stays cool. You will be limited at first though as most apps are not yet optimized for the desktop interface. Do not fret though as Samsung's own internet browser and email app are already optimized, as well as Microsoft's Office apps and Adobe's mobile creative suite. If this all sounds appealing to you, DeX will set you back about 115 euros. Lastly, if you live in China and want an S8 with 6GB of RAM, you're in luck. If you're anywhere else though, you'll have to make two with the standard 4GB. Anyway, I hope this video has been helpful. If so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech related videos like this one. I'm David and I am going to see you in the next one. Ciao.